Sam, uh, when I came and visited you not too long ago in the hospital, and you shared your story, your testimony with me. Uh, and, and Sam, I was wondering if you could just tell me a little bit more of, of what your life was before Christ and then your life now since knowing Christ. Well, <clears throat> I joined the church in 1984. I went through years of uh, doubt. And the big thing is, is I, I always thought I couldn't be loved. Okay. Came to this church in 2017. Every altar call, I felt the pull. I never went. And then uh, two months ago, I became very ill. And after about a month of laying on my back, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning and I started praying for God to bring me home. I was ready. Um, and just out of nowhere, he started revealing all these things to me about how I'd been selfish. And he did not put me here to serve self, but to serve others and serve him. Um, he let me know we're supposed to love all people, not just good people, not just people that care about us or love us. And he let me know that we were supposed to be a light in a dark and dying world. That those that would see the light would be drawn to him. And uh, I asked him, before our conversation ended, if I needed to be saved. And his exact words were, I'm leaving that up to you. Because you need to know, and I can tell you that right now in your state, you will not be affected in my service. And I didn't know how to take that he left it up to me, so I thought, well, maybe I'm okay. Three days later, seven, around 7, 10 p.m., and I had been wanting to come to church so bad because I thought that it had to be a legal thing. You know, I have to be at the church. I have to be in front of everybody. And he came to me and he said, this is not a legalistic thing. It's not a ritualistic thing. This is a heart thing. All we need to do is accept it. And that's the way it was born. And so I did accept it. And I love everyone. And I love him. I still love Sam. And my only goal from this point on and for all eternity is to bring glory to his name. And that is the truth. Amen. And that's my story of grace.